Hey, Garage Chronicles, Wednesday, midweek, hump day. Yes, that means that most of you are happy as hell because you guys got two more days of work and let the drinking begin. Whatever. All right, so on a quick note, before we get started with RV console part, Tress, that is three for all you guys out there. All right, so uh, update on my knee, been released. Went to the doctor on Monday, put him in a chokehold, and I said, release me or else. I don't know why I turned into Batman, but it happens, right? So he said, okay, just let me go. And I said, all right. So now all that's left is to go see the back doctor next week. <sighs> I hope she lets me go because she's holding off for some reason. I mean, I know it's too tempting over here to see an ugly guy in front of you. But, lady, I have to get back to work. Right? Anyways, hopefully that's the update. So this will be my last uh, midweek, I guess you can call it, midweek Garage Chronicles. We're going to go back to the regular Saturday or Sunday or whenever I do remember to do something because I might get back into hiking as well. So it could be one of those golf seasons starting again, our golf season for my buddies out there. You know who you are, you watch this, all right? So uh, that's the update. Now that we got through all that crap that you guys are saying, huh? Let's get back to console part three. We're gonna be doing cup holder drillings, drillings? drill drill the cup holders be rounding off the edges because during transportation one of them broke off and we're going to be beveling the very front so when you fit it in uh, underneath underneath this underneath the dashboard it fits a little better or easier to slide in well, that's what we're doing hopefully i can get it all done you're gonna be enjoying a cigar today's cigar is gonna be a uh a rocket patel why not so let's do it Let's get back into the build. I'll be right back, folks. All right, I'm here at the RV I'm doing a dry fit. That's really good, actually. Solid. I'm pretty flush at the bottom. I think it's time to rock and roll. Take it back home. Got the cup holders. I think I'm going to move them back here. Instead of being up front. I'm going to keep them. I'm not sure. We'll see. But it fits perfectly. Pretty sure I'm gonna F up somewhere. Okay, real quick, that's it. I put the back on there as you saw me just do it. Right there's drying up, put extra screws. Gotta resand all this stuff here. Wow, that's bad. Anyways, <clears throat> corners rounded off, cup holders drilled. I might actually try and get some plastic stuff that I have. They can slip it in here. And most cups are about the size of this glue bottle. So I'm thinking when they're driving, you know, we'll see. I'll pop. 
ponder on that one. As you saw, I just stained the uh, console, the RV console. I was supposed to wait at least a day for all the glue to dry. And... But no, 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 no. Why wait, right? Now I shall let it sit here and dry in the garage. I really need to, oh, what the hell is that? Oh, it's a birthmark, I think, or a burn mark, I'm not sure. Uh, let it dry here for at least a couple of days. This thing was full, by the way. And now, it's like seven eighths empty out. So I really put a lot of stain into this. I chose, what is this, cherry? Cherry, cherry. Yes, cherry. This is the lightest one that I have. What I'm not liking right now, and I'll turn the camera around. Not liking is uh, the wood filler that I have. As you can see, it doesn't really take a lot of stain. And that's sanded down. Uh, you can see that one right there. Those two guys. Of course, I didn't wait. But you can see it all over. This is old stuff. A lot of scuff marks that I try to sand out. But you can't feel it. But the wood's telling me it's there. It's still there. Uh, like these guys here. Same thing. You can see them right there. Did go ahead and got both the bottom and top. Give it a couple of days to dry, then come back, hit it with the poly. Then it's gonna be a game of sanding. Again, I might actually recruit my buddy Doza to finish the rest, because he is really good at leaving it like glass. Okay, and with that, I think I'm gonna call it a day. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the brushes, put away my tools, make sure I leave the garage as clean as I can, or as I had it before I started. Finished my cigar, finished my coffee. I still got like two swigs left and then juice time. Uh, and that'll be it. Thank you for stopping by. And still wondering, he's still doing that? I know. Anyways, guys, till next time.